Hi, I'm Rashawn. I'm Jordan. And welcome to dinner, uh, quarantine edition. So, uh, since we're stuck at home. Cheers. Cheers, we thought we'd uh, take our beyond the check <laughs> adventures to home. And so welcome to Independent Lasagna's, uh, welcome to our dinner. Tonight, we are going to be having roasted chicken and rosemary potatoes uh, with some stir-fried vegetables. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach the wife how to make that, as well as you guys. So we're gonna do a one pan thing. Do a one pan with the potatoes and the chicken. And then I'm gonna stir fry a little, uh, little side of veggies here in our fantastic cast iron pans because cast iron's the best, huh? Mm -hmm. What do we do after we wash cast iron? That's right, the oil pan. Never wash them with soap either. You need to keep them well seasoned. Wash them with a scrubby. Okay, so first we're going to cut up our potatoes. We got these lovely red skin potatoes and we're going to cut them into nice little chunks. So I'm going to do it first and then we'll see if you can do it with me. So I'm going to cut it in half and then we're going to do thirds, right? Whoa. Oh, potato down already. That's what happens when you drink too much brandy during quarantine and you try to cook. <laughs> and then if you just cut it in thirds across, you get nice little, little chunks. Uh, little squares. All right, so your turn. So I hope y'all enjoying your uh, your quarantines. You know, staying sani, eating healthy. You know. By the way, I keep my potatoes in the refrigerator just so they last a little bit longer. And I've also thawed out a couple pieces of chicken breast here, which we are going. Too big. To well, you know, you're, you're cutting them. <laughs> kind of on you here. <clears throat> so I just thawed out this chicken breast and we are going to just get a little olive oil on there. Really and we're going to do everything, kind of a little rosemary, chicken and potatoes. This is all going into one pan. She's a professional already. You want to put some olive oil on the potatoes there? Just little drizzles, little drizzles, that'll do. And then a little pepper. And some salt. Where's the rosemary? And so for rosemary, I feel like it's never quite fine enough. I washed my hands, I promise. So I like to take my rosemary and just put it in the palm of my hand. And I like to give it a little crunch. Because I don't have a mortar and pestle. If you had a mortar and pestle, it might be. A little easier, but whatever. And we're just gonna grind it up on there and do the same to the chicken. Give a little toss, toss. Get those all ready to go. You're doing a great job. Try. And then we're just gonna toss that around. Ooh. Toss it around, I'll use my hands, I'm not afraid. And then once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and get our pan all hot and ready for us, because we're gonna sear one side of this chicken before we go into the oven. All right, so we're getting the smoky there. Looks like it's pretty hot. Bless you. Why we're quarantined, people? Why we're quarantined? Not sick. Allergy, she says. It is. And so a little skin side down, into the pan we go. And we're just gonna let that kind of sear up on that side a little. Got my trusty tongs here. And uh, this show is brought to you by the letter W for wash your hands. What she said. So we just want to get a nice good sear okay. on the first side of the chicken so that when we put it into the oven, the other side will sear, but as well as go ahead and slow cook the chicken all the way through, as well as our potatoes. All right, so those are all nice and charred up there. I'm gonna go ahead and move them to the side and throw my potatoes in there. 
spread out the potatoes uh, nice and even. I'm going to go ahead and put this whole thing into the oven for about 35 minutes. You want to see our freezer? So we're, we're ready to go. We're fully loaded, people. <laughs> fully loaded. Plenty of things. We're making corn muffins. We're going to have some corn muffins with the chicken. But first you need one. Everything's better with a little one. I'm going to run out. i got to go get more than one. By the way, the Yellowtail Sauvignon Blanc, I don't know if you people have tried that yet, but it's fantastic. For $11 for that huge bottle, totally worth every drop. Okay, back to these messages. So things you're going to need is a mixing bowl. One nice brown egg and a third of a cup of milk really easy thank you now i gotta go find i'm the measuring assisting cup. now i gotta go find the measuring cup that's the hard part now this is what you gotta do oven's gotta be preheated at 400 of course is it preheated at 400? no it's Pretty cooking much. chicken at 375 but so now you're going to take your package open it up and then you're going to put this in first. It's messy. Fun fact, I tried to make um, the recipe for the Johnny bread when we were little. I did it for school and it was really, really bad. It turned out horrible. My mom helped me. That was bad. Um, and then next, you got to add your egg. Not all the way full. Probably like that much. Like that much. A third. That much. That's enough. Looks like enough. And now I need a spoon. I didn't get a spoon. I'm assisting. Forgot about the spoon. Spoon, spoon. doctor. And I think that's all you need in here. This is what it should look like. All right, then we're gonna take our uh, our canola oil nonstick and just spray it down. And then it says to fill them up like not half, three, well, two thirds. But we don't listen. <laughs> we just put as much as we feel looks good. So like that. It's okay if you make a mess. That's good. Now we're gonna make our vegetables, and because we're under quarantine, produce goes bad pretty quick. So we got this frozen bag of stir fry vegetables that won't go bad, and we can just use until it's gone. Otherwise, we'd probably throw away a lot of vegetables. Broccoli, carrots, corns, peppers, mushrooms. It's fun. So what we're going to use for that is very simple. Some butter, salt, and pepper. And we're going to go to the pan now. Let's go to the pan. Turn it up to a nice medium heat here. Get it all nice and warm. We're going to take our butter. We got the cutest little pack of butter. Look how cute this pack of butter is. A little butter. It's a little butter. A little butter butt. About half of it and slap it in our pan with it and get all melty once that butter melts down pretty good we're gonna go and just i don't know handful or so of veggies a couple handfuls broccoli carrots there's some red peppers in here green beans Thanks, Dude Man, for your vegetables. We bought these for my friend Dude Man while he was watching our dogs, but he didn't eat them, so. Now they're quarantine food. Yeah. Pepper. The salt. And that's all we're gonna do to these veggies. We're just gonna cook them up all nice. Muffins are in the oven. Muffins are in the oven. Chicken's still in the oven. Potatoes are going. Probably uh, check up on them here. Excuse me. 
Jordan Taylor's little toss around. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Probably about 10 more minutes. And uh, we'll be good. Hope everybody stay in Sandy. We did it. We made our chicken here, which we'll just put our pieces out in there. And we got some beautiful looking potatoes. We got our veggies. I'm just gonna go ahead and plate those up in here. And then some taters. And finally, a little corn muffin. So there we have it. That is our rosemary chicken and stir fried vegetable with a corn muffin dinner. We're gonna try them out. Which one's mine, which one's yours? That one's yours. Okay. Are we trying first chicken? I'll try a tater. Mmm, that is a tasty tater. Chicken's nice and crisp on the outside. Show them. Mm -hmm. Wow, pretty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Real good. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Broccoli cheers. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for watching. Welcome to dinner. Independent Lasagna's Quarantine Edition. Try this muffin. Tastes like corn muffin. Use some butter. We're gonna butter these up. Sit down and enjoy our dinner. Y'all have a wonderful night. <clears throat> Stay sandy. Eat okay. food. Eat food. Cheers.